start. Yeah, so hi everyone, my name is Helena. Uh, our project is focused on building a multilingual climate chatbot. Uh, our team consists of Louise, Mariam, Afnit, and also Karen. Uh, next, next slide, please. So our project aims to make climate research and education accessible to all Torontonians, regardless of their cultural and linguistic backgrounds. Many Torontonians lack understanding of climate risks and actions they can take, leading to limited engagement, high climate anxiety, and inequality in decision-making power, particularly among young and marginalized communities. Uh, existing climate information is disjointed, jargon-filled, and often exclude non-English speakers and marginalized communities. Uh, next slide, please. So with our solution, uh, we offer timely, accurate, and easy to understand information through AYA and Comment R Plus on local climate risk, adaptation strategies, and best practices for uh, climate risk mitigations and recovery process. Uh, the chatbot helps individuals and communities better understand how to mitigate, prepare for, and respond to climate impacts. It empowers individuals and communities to engage more effectively with climate risk, fostering increased inclusivity, climate literacy, and community actions. I'll now pass to Mariam to talk about the architectures. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, our app architecture is as follows. We start with curated uh, climate uh, documents on climate risks and adaptation and uh, convert each uh, chunk of text into two embeddings. One is a dense embedding from coherent multilingual embedding for the meaning, and another one is a sparse embedding from BM25 encoder for the keyboards. We store our embeddings in a uh, PinePoint database. When a query is made, we also convert it into two embeddings and perform a hybrid search based on uh, semantic and keyboard similarities. Retrieved documents then are uh, reordered uh, with a coherent rank model. Uh, next slide, please. And now let me walk you through our chatbot architecture. We first check if the uh, question is related to climate change. If it is, uh, we retrieve documents from our lag system. If retrieved documents have uh, relevant information, we generate uh, an answer. If not, we perform a web search, and uh, then we check for hallucinations, and finally, we confirm that the generated response is actually addressing the question. In summary, our uh, chat, uh, we, uh, there are several checkpoints to ensure that uh, the response is factual, accurate, and relevant. Now I pass it over to Avnit. So for the evaluation, we mainly adopted three techniques, LLM as a judge for sign similarity and human evaluations. For LLM as a judge, we basically generated a data set uh, using ChatGPT. And with that, we were able to achieve a high correlation of 89%. We also used cosign similarity uh, uh, for improved retrieval precision, precision and were able to achieve a mean similarity score of 93%. And we also did some human evaluations within the team and they seem to ensure consistent app performance. Now I'd like to pass it on to Lewis for the demo. Perfect, so Madam, I believe on uh, next slide, please. And you started at 142, please. Yes. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Multilingual Climate Chatbot. One moment. We're excited to show you today how our chatbot works. For here, you can ask the question to please translate the same question in Spanish, French, and Mandarin. As you can see here, we have the four questions. So well, let's, let's go ask our chatbot. For the purpose of time, we have asked the chatbot to ask the same question in Spanish, was able to pull it out, same question in French, was able to pull information out, and the same question in Mandarin. Now, how do we compare those answers? Let's use Cohere. So as in Cohere, we can ask it to please compare the translation and give it a score for the translation and give a mean overall score from 0 to 100. So let's see how our chatbot did comparing the English to Spanish, French, and Mandarin. So Cohere gave a score of 90% for the Spanish, 95% for the French, and Mandarin 85. So we have an overall score of 90%. This to us is a very big success as we wanted to give out the information from the Toronto communities to different types of languages without different types of language documentation. Thank you. Next slide, please. And we'll pass it over to Karen. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Hi everyone. Welcome to the multilingual climate chat. We're excited to show you today. How there we go. So, Karen. So, uh, hi, everyone. 
I will walk you through our MNCC project roadmap, focusing on making our app safer, faster, and more inclusive. By September, we will boost our RAG system and integrate wildcard for enhanced safety and ethical filtering. We will also refine our model and partner with Cohere. By November, we will launch MSCC Basic, gather feedback, and boost user engagement. By December, we will refine our approach, establish a content update pipeline, and analyze feedback. Then by in the new year, January 2025, we will develop MLCC advanced features for climate, climate adaptation and resilience planning, personalized risk communication, and spatial temporal data, making our app more precise and localized. These steps ensure MLCC becomes a safe, responsive, and global tool. Thank you. For the next slide, if anyone has questions, wants to try the app, please try it there. And any questions, just let us know. Thanks.